All right, so Gemini, you're starting off with no place like home and come to the edge. So I feel like you're getting ready to take some kind of leap of faith here. Um, there could be something that feels like home to you, very comfortable, um, like you're feeling it, you know? Uh, let's see, what's your person's overall energy? Could be making a move too, moving houses, locations, things like that. Uh, let's see. What is Gemini's person's overall energy? We got soulmates and yin. Wow, bottom of the deck, serendipity. You could be seeing signs and synchronicities. Um, you could just feel like you and this person are like a match. I feel like a positive energy coming off of this. Your person has yin, which is like the yin to the yang. Um, I feel like they're in a very, they're in the feminine energy, which we all have masculine and feminine. I feel like they're in a very loving, caring, nurturing uh, energy here. Um, and then soulmates. I feel like there's a strong bond going on between the two of you. Let's see. What are, what are your, what is your person's current energies, Gemini? King of Cups could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. If not, they're just very much like in their emotions when it comes to you coming towards you as like a king. All right. A strong energy. Nine of Wands. They could be willing to fight for this. They could have been through a lot in the past, had a lot of rejection. All right. Maybe their walls are up a little bit. Their guards are up because they're afraid of rejection here. What else? Current energies. Gemini's person. Keep in mind, Gemini could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy. All right. Uh, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. All right. I'm starting to get a little bit of a different story here. You guys may have been talking, dating, or together, you could have lived together, whatever the case is here. I feel like there could have been cut off communication or this person ghosted you. I feel like it's because they fear rejection or they fear like you're going to ignore them. If that's not the case, I feel like this person is taking some time to reflect, go within, all right, making sure this is the right path. I do feel like this is divinely guided. Your person could be very intelligent, very smart, you know, and they're just going with the flow. I'm getting a couple different storylines here. All right, what else, Gemini's person? What else, Gemini's person? Current energies, please. Why is temperance here? Six of cups. You could have known each other since like childhood or there's a fun, playful energy here. Uh, this is also nostalgia. I feel like this person could be thinking back uh, past memories with you. Okay, so yeah, this could be like love and separation here, Gemini. This person feels like home to you and there could have been a breakup or a break in, in uh, communication. But I feel like this person is thinking about you. They could be looking at old pictures, thinking back, reminiscing. There's something being divinely guided here. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. There's a lot of attraction and passion and desire. I feel like this is like a return of the ex. <laughs> Don't you me. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> I do feel like this is a return of the ex. They're coming back. Yeah. Yep, they're missing you. All right, let's see. Blockages. Blockages. The fool. All right. So this person may not have been wanting to take a leap of faith in the past because I feel like you were or you are ready to take some kind of leap of faith and they may not have been ready. All right. I feel like there was some kind of decision that they couldn't make. 
there could be a distance between the two of you. That's why I'm saying there could be like a move that needs to be made or travel or distance. Um, this could also be cycles. It could have been like a felt like a karmic cycle or something like that. It's like a new chapter couldn't start here. What else is blocking this for Gemini? <laughs> what else is blocking this for Gemini? Thank you. All right, we have King of Swords. So you uh, could be dealing with another uh, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or that could have gotten in between you guys. And Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Um, could also be overindulging, drinking, partying, shopping, sex, something like that. You know, overindulging in excess, too much of something. Um, there could have been arguments, disputes, Someone could have been very cut off or cold with emotions. I feel like that would maybe be more you, Gemini, than your person since they have like yin and, and all that. And it is an air sign here. Hmm. So it's almost like a wish fulfillment couldn't be fulfilled. That was being blocked. Could have been a painful ending. There could have been a third party interference. For some of you, your person could have been married at some point to someone else, possibly. That could have been getting in the way here. I do feel like there was at some point a painful ending. I do feel like this is a, an ex coming back. Could have been like a Libra. That got in between you guys, Aries, it could be anybody. Uh, let's see, how does this person truly feel about you, Gemini? Four Swords, they want to heal it. They want to heal this with you. All right, how else do they feel about Gemini? How else do they feel? Genuine feelings. Eight of Pentacles, they, in reverse, they may feel like you're done. You, you're you not going to put in the work and effort. They could feel like you're in this Libra energy, very cold, cut off, blunt. Six of Swords. Yeah, you moved on to calmer waters. Ooh. Death card, Scorpionic energy, transformation. They, they could feel like you cut them off, all right, and you moved on to calmer waters and you made changes in your life, Gemini. Yeah, they have remorse, regret, sadness, loss for abandoning you or leaving you behind. But now, there could be an age difference between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. I feel like they're going to come towards you as pages, though. They want a new start, but is it just sex-based? I don't think so. I feel like there's a lot of passion, attraction, chemistry. I feel like this person wants to reignite that flame and be like playful, fun, flirty, and have that kind of an energy. They, they feel regret for what has happened in the past. They do. I feel like now they're seeing you as their soulmate. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Yeah. Judgment. Reconciliation. Scorpionic energy. They want a reconciliation here. They're making that, that judgment call that they want you back for victory and success. I feel like that can be had. That can be had here. All right, what else? Potential outcome. Use your own discernment, you guys. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energies of the cards. Yeah, Aquarius energy, healing, a wish coming true, hope and faith, victory, success. The outcome looks pretty good. The fool, the fool. You might take a leap of faith. 
You might be afraid though that there's competition or that there might be heated arguments. I'm also feeling like there's a lot of just built up passion, <laughs> like sexual tension. You're gonna, I feel like you're gonna take a leap of faith. Could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person may come to you as a king, king energy, not a page. They're gonna, they want to reignite that flame, that fun, youthful energy, but I feel like they might come to you as a king, offering you stability long term. Yeah, see, they're gonna come to you as a page, page of pentacles. But it's more than that. Like you might feel like that's it, but I feel like they're co they're actually coming to you correct. There's that King of Cups again, Scorpionic energy. Started off with the King of Cups, ending with the King of Cups. You, Gemini, may have a choice between two. You might. You might have a choice between two. And that could be where this competition is coming in. And that might be why they're coming back, because they saw that you moved on. They did see that. That you moved on to calmer waters. You made some changes. You abandoned them. You just you left them behind. You moved on. And that might be what's stirring this up. I feel like you're going to have a choice to make in love. Then we have the Empress and the Magician. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting. You may have three people to choose from. If not, I feel like this person might actually, male or female, it doesn't matter, treat you like an empress, like loving, caring, nurturing, abundant, fertile energy. I feel like they're, they're I feel like they're going to come correct. They're, they're trying to do this right. And I feel like you, you are going to go back, most of you anyway. All right, let's see. What's the biggest obstacles? We have beyond illusion. So is this a dream? Is this reality? Is this person real? Are they lying? Is it going to be another cycle? Is it going to be different? Is it going to change? I believe so. There is a new vision here, a new outlook, a new way. All right. Again, this is divinely guided with creator here. Follow your intuition on this. Okay. Um, release control and this, yeah, intensity. You're not kidding. There's a lot of like, Chemistry, attraction, it's intense. So overcoming like the intensity of this connection, it's powerful. All right, what other messages do we have for Gemini? What other messages do we have for Gemini? Forgive, tranquility, peace, peaceful mind and heart, freedom from past heartbreak. So forgiveness All right, what else? What other messages do we have for Gemini? Separation, no contact, 5D, dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness. Yeah, I feel like there was no contact for a while. Uh, release, loosen your hold, relax and wind, release fear, anxiety and doubt, free will, choices, decisions, contact, inaction, action cannot be forced. So divine timing is at play here. Split energy, options, unfocused, multitasking. Decide what you really want. And I see this at the end here for the outcome. You might be a little like, I don't know, because I feel like you may have options now. All right, what else for Gemini? The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. What else for Gemini? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Yeah, this definitely was a separation here. All right. You were heartbroken. They broke your heart. 
All right, what else? The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other man or woman. Yeah, definitely feel like there was some kind of a third party or something like that going on. There was a painful ending that came out, you know. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you if they could? I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you my hand, will you take it? Wow, see? This person wants you forever. Wow. What? Gemini, are you ready for that? What else? What else would they like to say? I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. I have awakened to our connection. I know, sorry, I now know we have a timeless bond between us. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. Yup. All of this, all of this, Gemini. Whew. All right, that's what I have for you for this week.